Soapy rips into Pence for not respecting North Korea at Olympics immediately regrets it. Now that's some karma by Cat Stevens for FreedomDaily.com. Move over, CNN. Whoopi Goldberg has some things to say about the vice president, and that's just as insightful and reasonable as the rest of the commentary that we've come to expect from The View. Goldberg joined her other equally unbiased co-host to talk about the Olympic Games in South Korea this month, and as always seems to happen, the discussion quickly migrates to politics. The nations of the world are gathered to see who's the best and who will be going home and trying harder for the next four years. The unexpected twist in this year's Winter Games was the fact that North Korea and South Korea have united their athletes to compete together. This is unexpected for a couple of reasons, but the most pre uh, prevalent is the fact that North Korea has been threatening to blow everyone off the map for the past year. Because of the tyrannical dictator's uh, aggressive declarations of war, he is not well loved by some, including the vice president, of course. Few people are as aware of the implications of what Kim Jong-un, the North Korean dictator, could do if he decided to make good on his promises. Because of that knowledge, Vice President Mike Pence decided that he didn't want to respect that country or its athletes at the Olympics. The bleeding heart liberals obviously had a problem with that. Newsbusters reports that more than one of them piled on with Whoopi, of course, being the loudest. Monday on ABC's The View, liberal co-host Whoopi Goldberg, Sonny Hostin, and Joy Behar, uh, the three hens, called Vice President uh, Mike Pence a hypocrite for sitting down <laughs> while North Korean athletes marched into the stadium at the Olympic Games this weekend. <laughs> Whoopi complained that Pence did not show North Korea their due respect, mind you. Hear this, huh? while Hostin compared Pence's actions to the NFL anthem protest. After explaining what Pence did, co-host Sonny Hostin sneered that Pence was being a hypocrite since he famously walked out of a football game last year after NFL players kneeled during the national anthem. I thought that Mike Pence said that it was inappropriate to make, make political statements at sporting events, Hostin said sarcastically. Wasn't he that guy? I love it when they say that, right? That guy, huh? Total disrespect. Who walked out of the football game because people were kneeling and not standing, she added condescendingly. Playing devil's advocate, yeah, Bayer claimed Pence would say this was different because it wasn't in the United States. In their own country is what he would say to that Bayer offered. But he's representing the United States of America, isn't he, Austin snarked? Well, it, let's, let's just take a quick listen. We're not going to listen to the whole clip. It's about 11 minutes long, but... <laughs> to the rest of the Olympics. VP Mike Pence was in the stands at the Olympics where he seemed to be making a silent protest by remaining seated when North and South Korean athletes entered the stadium under the Korean unification flag. Mm -hmm. Now, was this the place to make that statement? Or did he just forget to get up? Or I thought was that it? Mike Pence said that it was inappropriate to make political statements at sporting events. <laughs> walked out of the football game yeah, because was. people were kneeling and well, not he would say standing. Well, that's in his country, in their own country, is oh. what he would say to that. But he's representing the United States yeah. of America, yeah. is that he? We have to be respectful because, you know, huh. what we do know about politicians is they end up sitting with people that you and I say, well, why are they sitting with them? You know, so yeah. if you're in Korea, you need to stand up. You need to stand up and show respect. The debate I would give is that there's a difference between sitting at a table with politicians and world leaders who globally have a difference of opinion on. North Korea is one of the worst human rights violators. It's one of the most repressive countries. And we should not they be there. torture, slave labor. Listen, we shouldn't be. I, but it's weird. In South, the Olympics are in South Korea. And North Korea should be combined. With the unification, people came out together. They, the South Korea. Who should have, who should have 
given enough, had enough respect to say, you know what, maybe they are doing a good thing for themselves and maybe we can sit down with them at some point. No. But you can't, you can't have it both ways. I gotta tell you. Ah, uh, you can't have it both ways. Look at the cackling hens that are telling everybody else how to act. Whoopi and her co-host probably are under the impression that their liberal soft approach to everyone other than conservatives is still the law of the land. They've decided to lean so far away from President Trump that they've gotten completely out of touch with reality. And fortunately for them and fortunately for everybody else, the world is starting to see through this lunacy and realize what's happening. So I'm not going to sit there and read the whole thing about them. If we're working on CNN, I would honestly uh, resign before writing this piece. Beyond uh, a certain point, no job is worth sacrificing your dignity or whitewashing true evil like this. Blair wasn't the only one raising the whitewashing criticism of CNN. Alyssa Farah Speaking of stealing, Otto uh, Wambier uh, was uh, tortured and killed at the hands of the Kim regime after being accused of stealing a poster. Let's not whitewash North Korea's record. I agree with that. It's all fun and games until we remember that these people were trying to make nice with... Uh, with would rather be feeding us to their dogs, with people that would rather be feeding us to their dogs. Okay, there's a word missing there. We've uh, come to the point in our history where political correctness might actually get us killed. It's time to let it go, people. Yeah, I mean, really? Really, whoopee? Really, whoopee? You know, I mean, these cackling hens, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.